What's up, Earth Signs? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your weekend vibe. So, let's see what's coming in for the weekend. For Earth Signs, what's coming in? Independent. Oh, shit. Okay. So, some, some of y'all gaining y'all independence through some type of inheritance. Y'all can be breaking away from the crowd, breaking out the matrix. No longer feeling like you have to be around tons of people. You get what I'm saying? We kind of got the same thing for fire signs a little bit. All right? Yeah, I'm getting twin flame energy, y'all. So this might be about a twin flame situation. But somebody here got a got an inheritance, and so now they're independent. So that means somebody could be leaving home. You know, this weekend, whether it's their parents' house or moving out of a situation where, you know, they would break up if they could, but they couldn't because everybody was sharing finances, okay? I am getting Penn State. Yeah, so somebody, I mean, Penn Federal. So some people, yeah, y'all going to the bank and y'all cashing in on the inheritance for some of you. And you could be, like I said, branching off. I feel like, yeah, a message of good and bad fortune. So, again, if you get an inheritance or, we, like, uh, if somebody leaving you something behind, an amount of money, it's like you have to hear about somebody passing away first, right? So, it is good and bad fortune here. It's like, the bad part is somebody that obviously favored you, so I'm pretty sure you favored them to Earth sign, could be passing away. And you guys could be cashing in on the inheritance. And this is setting you free from a situation where you feel like you was codependent, okay? Some of you guys are also going through an awakening at the same time. So I feel like y'all feel like this was kind of much needed. Because maybe you and your partner is not seeing eye to eye no more. When it comes down to like spiritual beliefs and stuff like that. Spirit is saying continue to do what you're doing and continue to learn new things, Okay. So, y'all got a mother-in-law or a father-in-law. Like, your in-laws could just be basically feeling like you should work it out no matter what. It's like if you get married or, you know, basically have kids or whatever it is. Like, whatever it is that you involved yourself in that you want to break free from and become independent from now. Uh, you know, you could have in-laws that's telling you, like, basically, you know, you took a stand before Christ and you said your vows and... You know, basically, you're supposed to be a martyr for your marriage. So, this could be a situation where your spouse is really, like, putting you in a bad space. Because it's like, basically, people is is encouraging you to put up with more shit just to stay in a situation. Okay? And somebody may be publicly humiliating you because of that. Like, people may be trying to embarrass you, go online, make you look weak, make you look like a quitter. Or this can be you going online and publicly humiliating people that's trying to make you stay in a situation where you don't feel either safe or comfortable or you no longer feel a connection or you don't feel like you're growing okay so let's see why daughter-in-law is here and public humiliated yeah somebody mama woke up choosing violence so it could be somebody mama that's publicly humiliating y'all online because y'all gave up on a uh on a relationship or a marriage with a son okay Okay, y'all might have a new crush or is somebody out there that's crushing on y'all. Y'all may have a child with this person or they could have had a baby outside of the connection and that's why y'all leaving. Y'all have also tapped into y'all Akashic Records so y'all could be seeing that this person wasn't meant to be a part of your life for the rest of your life. Maybe y'all got some type of insight on that. Okay. Y'all did not say lump sum of money coming, y'all. I'm telling you, a lump sum of money is setting y'all free. It's allowing y'all independence. Y'all could be thinking about moving somewhere international or traveling international. So maybe y'all want to take yourself on a nice vacation. I feel like wherever you go, people going to see you as a superstar. One thing I notice is that people in Turkey like truly treat African-American people like they stars when they go there. I'm like, yeah, I got to book a trip to Turkey. For real, for real. <laughs> I stopped it right at 420. So some of y'all could be traveling to Jamaica because I see that as the most 420 friendly country i ever seen in my life. Okay, so GHRJK can be y'all's initials or the initials of somebody I'm talking about that's involved in this situation, your in-laws, you. I feel like y'all, like, this sound like mother energy. I'm not going to lie because this person, like, they feel the need to get online and talk about, like, I don't know what they're saying. But this is giving me this type of situation where people is trying to lessen your 
character to make it seem like they they son wasn't in the wrong for whatever they did they son or daughter wasn't in the wrong for whatever they did so this person is bringing a lot of people to your social media and they got people looking you up because of course they tagging you and shit or mentioning your name or something to that extent y'all making it out of the dark night of the soul is what i'm getting for some of y'all was y'all cousin that could have passed away and left y'all behind something so this could have been like a favorite cousin of y'all's you know Somebody seeing you as too masculine. Maybe they seeing you as somebody that can't submit. And that's the reason why you can't continue to stay committed. Like you want to be too independent or whatever the case is. And maybe you was trying to gain autonomy within your connection. But your partner was putting like strict, rigid regimens on you. You know what I'm saying? Where it was hard for you to do what they required of you. As well as like work and be independent and all of that. And now it's like you getting a way out. So it's like if you get a lump sum of money. It's like you can create your own reality with that. You can start a business if you want to. You can move shit. Instead of traveling abroad, you can actually move abroad, depending on how much you got left behind. But I'm just getting this energy where people ain't feeling it, okay? So let's see. People may be trying to accuse you of cheating, and that's the reason why you want to up and leave as soon as you get some money in your hand, okay? That's how they could be trying to play you. They could be making it seem like, well, somebody else must be liking her. But in reality, it seemed like your spouse could have had a baby with somebody else, her sign. Okay. You could have been trying really hard to be sexy for this person while they was, like, running around cheating and shit like that. Yeah, Cayman Island, some of y'all could be going to. Or just an island in one to three weeks, okay? So even if, like, somebody passed on... It could even be your sister-in-law that's talking shit too, like your sister-in-law, your mother-in-law. They could just be ganging up against y'all. You get what I'm saying? But you guys, you guys have a high level of intellect and y'all know that these people just trying to get y'all to self-sabotage. So maybe you feel like they just want you to retaliate so that they can, you know, go back and just make you look like an even worse person. So it's kind of like, yeah, you, you too intellectual to self-sabotage yourself. You figure you just let them run off at the mouth and make themselves look bad. And people gonna learn what the real reason is. You know what I'm saying? Like, if your person got somebody else pregnant, they'll see the baby in nine months. You know what I'm saying? And then they'll really realize, like, oh, yeah, you know, she just left nine months ago or seven months ago or whatever. And this man having a baby, that means that's the reason why she really left. You know, that's kind of the energy I'm getting. One of y'all can have braids or locks in this situation. This person no longer has authority and command over your subconscious mind. You're taking back your power. Y'all, you no longer hold a torch for this person. It's in reverse. I feel like you had to be strong and act like you didn't. Okay, because this could be a situation where, you know, you really do still love this person, but the shit that they doing just disgusting you beyond belief. And it's like you can't even fathom staying with this person after the betrayal that they've implemented in this connection. Okay? Yeah, it's like you really are, y'all tapping into hydromancy. If you thought you had tea on me, you drinking piss, so your person could say you lying or you being uh, delusional or whatever. But you might have actual facts or receipts that this person got somebody else pregnant. Yeah. Okay, so this person, like, really, I feel like they was hanging misfortune over your head. Like, y'all could have made a vision board saying that y'all wanted to attract a lump sum of money in y'all life. And, again, I know it didn't happen in the way you thought because somebody looked like they passed away, whether it's y'all sister, y'all, like, y'all sibling, y'all cousin, or something to that extent. But it's like y'all could have, like, uh, manifested this on a vision board. Like, this year, coming into a lump sum of money and gaining my regaining my independence. Because y'all could have been tired of this person hanging the fact over y'all head that y'all wasn't independent. Like, y'all liter literally might have had to depend on this person. And it's like, now you could be finding out that this person got a love child or a secret baby. And basically, you just off it. Like, you just, like, this person turned you off to the max. Like, you might be feeling like it's one thing to cheat, but it's a whole nother thing to create a life with the person that you're cheating with. It's a whole nother thing to be disrespectful enough to have unprotected sex. It's, it's a lot. Like, it's a lot. And it's like, people around this person is either, like, basically trying to play you like you crazy. Like, they would never do that. Or, you know, they trying to make it seem like, you know, you just weak for leaving. Like, damn. Like, his his mom, his dad, whoever, they could be like, well, you know, my partner had a baby on me and I stayed. And we still together 30 years later. But that's not the type of life you want. You know, if you're going to have a bonus baby, then it's like, okay, let it be, in, you know, with integrity. Like, I came into your life and you already have kids. Not we building together and you outside creating a whole nother family. You get what I'm saying? So, it's like you... 
you stuck between a rock and a hard place, but I feel like it really ain't a hard place for you because honestly speaking, even if it hurts your feelings and it's kind of humiliating that your ex-in-laws is like talking stuff about you online and trying to publicly humiliate you and make you seem like you the problem when clearly if anybody is outside of the connection making children, they the problem, okay? But yeah, it's like somebody here, somebody just don't understand where you coming from. Okay, so I'm talking to people that's either married, living, or in a living relationship, I feel. Okay, and honestly, for some of you, this could have been happening. For others of you, it's getting ready to happen. Okay, so let's get more for the earth signs for the weekend vibes. Or this could be happening to somebody around you. Like, if you crushing on this person that's leaving, like, you could be the male, the male that's actually crushing on this woman that's walking away from this other male you know, or you could be the woman that's pregnant by this married person. You hear what I'm saying? Take it as it resonates. So, yeah, let's see. All right, Holy Spirit. Y'all feelings. It's like I got feelings too. Like people just expecting you to just be this helpmate and be this man's rib and shit. And it's like they, not, they don't care. It's like you got punched in the gut. You still have hope for a better life. It's like, yeah, people are trying to keep you confined because I see you trying to break free, but it's like they trying to keep you bound to something that no longer fulfill you. It's like the light has really shone on this person's true colors and you may be feeling like if you stay now, that this is going to be something you're going to have to keep dealing with. You're going to have to keep dealing with this person bringing, bringing home affair babies and shit, you know? So let's see what else. Yeah, recognition. You don't even recognize this person anymore. For some of y'all, it's like this person stressing you out so much you don't even recognize yourself. So y'all ready to go. Y'all feel like y'all had enough patience and woo side for this person. Something that was a mystery to you is finally known. And it's like you taking this shit way too well. Like people is wondering when the other shoe gonna drop. Because even though you finding out something detrimental, you get what I'm saying? I feel like people looking at it like you handling it with such zen energy. Like you just patient. Like you've been being patient with this person. I feel like you've been doing all you can. But at the same time, you can feel like you losing yourself to this individual. Okay, you could definitely feel like that. Like, damn, like, it feel like I'm losing a sense of myself. Like, this ain't something I would have put up with before, so why would I do it now? You know what I'm saying? That's making me feel like I'm settling, and, you know, maybe that's just something you're not with. It's like, yeah, either you've been settling your whole life or you never settled, but the fact of the matter is you definitely ain't about to do it now. You about to, you know, take this opportunity. You realize that something you manifested for yourself actually came in for you. And you, you about to bask in it. Like, yes, let's do this. Yeah, sorry, cuzzo, or sorry, sis. Like, RIP, I'm going to miss you forever. But just know that whatever that person left you behind is going to set you up for a minute, you know, and it, you can find ways to invest it to make it last longer. Earth signs, weekend vibes. You leaving. And see, that's the thing. This person ain't got no money for real, y'all. You see this person as a waste of time, a wasted investment. Some of you guys could have been with this person for seven years, okay? Others of you, 12. So, this is a long-term invested situation, and people kind of look at you like you abandoning this. Like, they feeling like you going to be regretting it. So, it could be people that's trying to put something in your ear, like, you know, you don't just abandon this and that when something go wrong like figure out like some people just feel like you should sit around and wait for this person to bring forth this child and get a dna test like people want you to prove it but it's like just the fact that this person is a alleged parent to somebody else's baby is making you kind of feel like no like the fact that it's a possibility alone is like enough for you okay you could have felt abandoned in this connection you could have felt like in your most wounded times this person wasn't there for you like they was out making new children rather than being there for you so for a lot of you it's like 
you went through the dark night of the soul you went through some type of spiritual depression and this person could have been very absent they was like running the streets and doing what they do and honestly this is somebody that this person do not even want a kid by they never saw themselves staying with this person long enough to like raise a family with so it's like this is gonna be a co-parenting situation and this person probably expected you to stay by their side while they co-parent with this person that they ain't even want a kid by you know, not trying to say nothing about the kid, but it's obviously this person feel like they invested wrong or they did the wrong thing. And this could have been a co-worker of theirs, okay, or somebody that they told you was just a friend or whatever the case is. If they actually work together, it's like the fact that it's getting out that they could be potentially like having an affair and one of them is pregnant. I feel like somebody may lose their job for that, okay? Y'all. Some of you, this person is just really reckless with their sexuality at that. It's like, that's the reason why they're not so emotionally connected because this person could be suppressing aspects of them that they haven't quite discussed with you. And of course, that's only going to be for a small group of you because everybody ain't walking around here down low and bisexual. But um, for some of you, that could be the thing. Like, this person could have been hanging out with buddies from work and, like, becoming attracted to people that was with around them that was gay. Like, so maybe this person didn't have, like, thoughts about being gay and stuff, but I feel like they started, you know, hanging out with a group of people and it could have been one or two people around that was, you know, uh, gay or homosexual, bisexual, whatever. And it's like, that could have sparked this person's interest. Like, how would it feel? It's like a lot of people, when they feel like they haven't found the, they self, all they got to do is hear a story. You know, and it's like exciting to them because that's something different because they feel like they always been on a more traditional side or whatever. But it's like whoever this is, it's like this person, they an insincere lover. Like this may be the type of person that you have seen like get the same compliments to other women as they did you. So it's a lot of things that's factoring into this. It's like this person haven't really made you feel special. It's like they haven't designated anything for you. It's like they give random people your pet names and nicknames or you hear them saying the same thing to you or to other people that they said to you and you just see this person is insincere. You see them as somebody that's inappropriate. Like they don't have a problem doing things behind your back that they would never do in your face. So it's like, even when this person is not cheating, it's like the things that they say or the things that they do or how they, how they out behaving in front of other single people or in front of other people of the opposite sex or same sex or whatever is displaying like they not even in a connection or like they, like they with you, but they really don't want to be with you. You get what I'm saying? And so it's like you just getting a hint. Like that's what it feel like to me. It's like you started catching on. It's like when you go through hard times, this person ain't there. They finding more and more ways and reasons to go out and leave you hanging. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being there trying to comfort you at all or see like what you need or what they can do to help or if they can talk to you about what's going on. But again, a dark night of the soul is really something that you're supposed to go through on your own. And that could be the reason why y'all feeling pulled to like go travel and just get away for a while because y'all just want to get away. Like I feel like y'all just want to be off the grid, phone on, do not disturb, no Wi-Fi, no internet because y'all just want to stay off the internet Stay away from this person's in-laws or stay away from this person's family because they owe in-laws or, you know, again, if y'all was in a common law situation, then it's like they considered you an in-law. But these are definitely people that expected you to stick with the program no matter how bad this person messed up. And it was like, it was deal breakers. It was small things that led up to big things that you just couldn't take no more. It's like, why should I have to keep putting up with stuff that I do not want, okay? So, it's like, people could be feeling like you full of it because you're getting money and you leaving this person with nothing. They may be feeling like, you know, you should repay this person because you've been codependent on them for a minute or whatever the case is. Some of y'all can be going back to a place. So, if y'all are from a different country, maybe y'all moving back home or y'all going back home for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for a lot of you, it's like you could have even caught this person talking about how you wasn't even worth investing in or how they wasted their investment. Like this person, they wasn't loyal, okay? This is definitely somebody that will go and talk behind your back to other people. And it's like, again, it's certain things and clues that y'all got that made y'all feel like, why should I still be here? Like, I might as well just move on with life because, you know, this, this emperor... 
he don't appreciate it. And it's him that feel abandoned. And it's him that feel left broken. And it's him that feel like you got a big mouth, but it's their family. It's his family. So if you do speak up for yourself, I feel like you're going to speak up for yourself and you're going to keep it moving. And some of y'all might even deactivate y'all's uh, social media if y'all end up going out of town and just kind of retreat. But some of y'all going back to like a hometown or something like that. Or if you come from a different country, like I said, going back to a different country. Y'all not about to invest in this person. Is what I'm saying. Like, they could have told people you was a wasted investment or they should have thought twice before they invested in you or they should have got to know you be before they got closer to you. And again, I'm going to keep going back to the fact that you're going through the dark night of the soul. So as you're going through some type of spiritual depression and everything as you know it is being dismantled, it's like this person is running around telling people, yeah, she depressed. Yeah, he depressed. Uh... I don't even know what to do with them. I should have got to know them a little bit more because had I known they have these type of issues, I probably would have stayed away. Like, it's giving that type of vibe. But this was a karmic lesson for you, okay? And it's like, now that you gained your independence, it's like you're going to work on maintaining it. Because this is like, this is like you guys being set free. I feel like this person triggered something about your childhood, honestly. Especially with the gaslight and hell yeah, y'all about to be like basking in this free spirited energy with the fool. It's like just making impulsive decisions to move and shit. Like I feel like y'all y'all could just like point on a place on the map and just go, okay, with the type of money that's being left behind for you guys. Once again, sorry for y'all lost though. Like I completely understand like how that could be painful. You know, hopefully if the person that uh you know some of you guys may be losing this week or this weekend um hopefully if they was in some kind of pain it's like that pain there's a resolve for them now and they live in peacefully you know in a different realm and reality so let's see y'all but it seems like y'all just like y'all leaving the past behind y'all barely taking anything with y'all just feel like y'all want all new everything like y'all just want a new life Okay, and I feel like y'all gonna start it off by taking a vacation, going away, and seeing what's next. Like, you gonna have the peace and quiet to be able to meditate on what should you do next. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's like now this person wanna chase you. Like, this the type of person that act like you not nothing until you walk out the door. Yeah, this person feel like you abandoning the family. So maybe with this lump sum of money y'all got, it's like this person might have thought like, oh, you know, you can help my family. You can help. Like this person might have been already making plans with, yo, you know, your passed over family members money. Like, you know, oh, we can do this. We can do that. We can send some money to my people. Whatever the case is. Why is this community in reverse? Like, yeah, you don't want to invest in these people. You feel like these people enable this person and they part of the reason why they like they are. Why is it y'all? I'm telling you. The same people, okay? So that's the thing. You sabotage their plan. It's like these are greedy, grubby people that like to get their hands on other people's shit. Just like mice do. Mice will tear, like, mice will run through your walls, stink up your house, make everything germy, you know, making their little squeaky noises, getting into your food. They a nuisance. And that's why you don't want to invest in their family because their family is nuisance and, and they saboteurs. You could feel like their family helped them to, uh, you could feel like their family actually helped them to like destroy this connection. You get what I'm saying? So they could have been saying negative things about you to make, to get this person head up, to make them feel like they was better than you or whatever. But now this person broke. Like, I mean, I guess they broke because they out here making love children and shit. Five of Pentacles. Could be a Capricorn, okay, Capricorn, Aries, Taurus, big Aries energy, okay, Five of Pentacles. Y'all, I'm telling you, they broke because they got a new baby on the way. And you don't give a fuck. You like, you know what, that's your problem. You out here making kids and shit. Be a father. This person look like, if they the ruler like that, they got one less person to take care of now. Because you leaving their life... So now they shouldn't worry about being broke and paying their child support because this this little child is taking your place. It's like, so if this person was taking care of you, you alleviating that, alleviating that person of that responsibility. Now they can put all the money that they was putting into you into their kid. Maybe their kid should be a better investment for them. Let's see. Why is the three of pentacles in reverse? 
Y'all, poverty. So it's like whoever was pregnant with their baby got fired. That's the real reason why they broke broke. Because it's like they might have to do everything for this person now. They can move them in. That's so crazy because I feel like maybe even this person said that to you. Like, yeah, can like this is like, like I don't know if this person from a different country or not, but I watched the African movie, a Nigerian movie, where basically a man just wanted enough like more kids. And I'm just like, boy, you got enough kids. Like, I'm watching a movie and this person already had kids. And I don't know what they wanted, another son or something. So they like, oh. I'm going to bring in a younger wife because their wife was like older and their kids was also older. So I'm like, why is this old ass man trying to have more kids? But, um, it's like, basically he ain't even asked his wife, like, yeah, you think we can bring in another wife? Cause I think I want more kids. And I know, you know, you raised our kids. You did great, babe. Love you. Matter of fact, I should buy you a 20 year anniversary push gift. You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't even nice about it. It was like, I want another wife. I want more children and you cannot bear. You cannot bear. You know what I'm saying? Like this man was just me and that me the, for me that would have been boom, put on your heels and stomp out the freaking door because you're not about to tell me another bitch finna come up in here. You know what I'm saying? But that's giving me this. Like it's like something could be going on with this person, the person that's pregnant by this person, by your person that you leaving behind. Maybe they ain't got nowhere to stay and this person could have just volunteered like you know, but they, they, you know, they could be pregnant with my baby or whatever. Y'all, you like, I'm going to let you sort this out. For real. Knight of Cups in reverse. You know, and that's the truth, though. It's like, yeah, this person shouldn't let their baby mom be homeless. But y'all ask, like, I'm out, y'all. Wow, did this person have more than one child on you? This person might have two. They might have two freaking love children. That's crazy. To women that he wasn't even relationships with. What is this energy with the main male in reverse with the sun? What is this energy here, Holy Spirit? Mm, I'm telling you, he got so much money going out to child support. This don't even make no sense. Oh. Somebody job ended. Somebody literal job ended. And that's why this masculine going to be short. Because it's like they got to take care of a slew of women. But that's what happens when you want the poly life. Remember poly life came out at the beginning and I didn't keep it y'all. I should have. Because that's what it's giving me. It's like my baby mom is pregnant and they about to be homeless. We should just, we got an extra room. Let's just let them stay here. And you like, you acting like we signed up for a surrogate. What is wrong with you? Like, it's one thing to get somebody pregnant outside of your connection, but then you rubbing it in their face by saying they should move in with y'all. Poly life. It's giving me poly life. Y'all done with this. Y'all no longer working hard on this. Maybe y'all even feel like this person, like, parentalized y'all, like, made y'all act more like a mother to them, cook and clean and do their laundry and all of this crazy stuff. That's coming to an end. You're not about to work hard on this because I feel like you was trying to stay sexy for this person. You was trying to fulfill this person's needs. And it feel like their needs cannot be fulfilled. It feel like that's an unachievable goal. Knight of Pentacles. I'm sorry. Uh, Page of Pentacles in reverse. So this is the reason why. Like basically, even if they didn't want you to like send money to their outside or extended family, like this person could have felt like you should have like, oh, wow, that's amazing. Like, wow, like maybe we should build a guest house in the back for such and such and my baby. You know what I'm saying? Like this person already like basically spending your money. And it's like they thought like this is some volunteer shit. Like you, like they told you they gonna have somebody else with another baby. And like you should just be happy to share this lump sum of money with the household. So this person probably thought they was going to be off the hook because they probably feel like, okay, baby got a loan sum of money. I've been taking care of her. And now, you know, basically she can help me take, y'all, this is so crazy. I don't know who reading this is, but whoever this is, they're either from a different country or they're freaking delusional because I totally get it. It's, there's certain countries where this shit is okay. Okay. I get it. I completely get it. And I'm not down in nobody tradition. But we don't do that shit in America unless it's agreed upon. 
Okay, so yeah, that's why I'm finding it so far-fetched. So don't take offense if you are from somewhere where this is a normal setup or dynamic because it's not, it's rare where I'm from, okay? Y'all, I'm sorry, but I'm about to pull up some old tarot because I need to see, like, what this person expected you to do with this money. Page of Pentacles in reverse, but again, I guess it, the, from this person's perspective, you, they woman or they man or whatever, and basically this is their child. So they figure, you know, the child is innocent, the child has my blood, you say you love me, you should also love this child, and that's not to say you don't. Maybe, you know, you, you do love innocent kids, whatever the case is, I'm not saying you don't. But it's not your responsibility either. And like this person, this is like a slap in the face, to be honest. Page of Pentacles in reverse. You just, you don't want to invest in this person anymore. You done being breadcrumbed. You done with this person creating more expenses for themselves than they can handle. And then trying to put you in the middle. Okay? Page of Pentacles in reverse. After I clarify this, I'm sorry, this is going to be a little longer reading. I guess that's y'all reward for being last. Oh, this person may be saying that it might not be theirs. Yeah. They telling you you stressing for nothing because they haven't even got a paternity test, but this person already making plans. They definitely gambled. They risked it all for this, okay? They could even call the STD by the person that they got pregnant. Okay, it's, it definitely look curable. Some of y'all just want to move. Y'all feel like y'all can do a lot better. Y'all feel like y'all can elevate y'all living. And y'all feel like God gave y'all the perfect opportunity. Some of you guys can be 38, 37, 34. Okay, I'm getting 38 a couple times here. Yeah, this is a tower for this masculine. They wasn't expecting you to come into some money. And, and when you did, they expected you to spend it within a the household. They expected you to share it with them. Like the fact that you moving, that you following your inner compass... And that you like being guided away from this person. Like some of y'all may be moving up north if you move if you live down south or moving down south. Okay. Y'all, I'm telling you, y'all going to court for y'all money possibly on the 30th if we got a 30th of this month, if not the 28th. Okay. Y'all, look at this. You moving on with your great fortune. You have everything you need to cultivate the future that you want. Yeah, with this great fortune energy, this speaks to having everything. The house of your dreams, the car of your dreams, the dark you always wish you could have or that you just marveled at online. Like, oh, I wish I had a little dog like that. You know, the relationship you want, the travel you want, the clothes you want, the shoes you want. Just a lot of practical things, okay? If you wanted to go back to school, you could. It's a lot. It's a lot to it. Some of y'all may be even younger. Y'all may be like 26 years old. And then for others of you, it's like this person may keep having babies outside of the connection because you could be like 43, 42, 43. And maybe, you know, fertility started to slow down around them ages. It's not impossible, but it's a lot more difficult than it would be if you were in your 20s. Yeah. Like some of y'all may have even had fertility issues or had a miscarriage or something like that. So all of this shit just way too painful. And this person is not considering that. And y'all feel like... Y'all feel like when one mistress leave, next 15, one coming. It's like, girls are like buses. One leave, next 15, one coming. It's just annoying to y'all. Y'all feel like this person never stopped having mistresses. Like, they just got an endless line of mistresses that's waiting to be next to cheat with. You get what I'm saying? So, let's see what this person actually wants you to do with your inheritance funds. Because it seems like you moving away is definitely causing a tower for this person. They was not expecting you to have the strength to do that. Let's see. So what is it that this emperor is expecting earth sign collectives to do with their inheritance? What is it that the emperor is expecting? 33, 33 on the clock. I feel like they wanted y'all to spend that within the home. It's like, let's all, y'all, four of wands. I'm telling you, they wanted you to spend it within the home. Or they expected if you was going to move for y'all all to move. Y'all, or to allow that baby mom to move, okay? They may have even was going to ask you for a lump sum of it and do something with it that they wasn't even going to tell you. Yeah, the two of cups. They thought y'all was going to spend it on them and their child. I told y'all, okay? Their child is this is this page of pentacles. So my thing is, if they pregnant, if, they, if somebody just got pregnant, that baby might be born in December, right? 
March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. So they could be a couple months pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Like two months or a month pregnant. That makes sense. So this baby could be a Capricorn, could be born in Capricorn season. Yeah, and that's what they're trying to tell you. Like, well, I don't even know. So why are you going to leave? You know what I'm saying? Like, they feel like you should at least wait until they get the paternity test back. But I feel like that's going to be even more painful. But yeah, they thought y'all was going to toast up and celebrate and give thanks to the ancestors together for that. Like, yeah, let's toast up, babe. And you like, what? <laughs> I'm out. Like, I don't even know what you're talking about. But they definitely thought you was going to, like, either... If you was moving, they thought they would move with you or they thought you was going to let somebody move in for sure. Okay? Yeah. Like, all y'all worries was going to be over. They probably thought you was going to pay off some of their debt. Y'all, this is crazy. What did this person expect Earth signs to do with their inheritance? Already making plans with your money. They really thought you was going to surrender it, honestly. Y'all, they thought you was really going to spend it on a motherfucking mistress. Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. It's like, come on, babe. Like, y'all really both can be here with me. Like, why you... I told y'all. Like, and this person was just blatant about it. They ain't even lie. They ain't tell them, like, not one lie. They, they, they literally, like, they wanted you to pay off a car as well and then start a business. So they, this person wanted you to move their mistress and their new baby in, break bread with them, pay off some of their debt, do some shit with some of the money with the, without even telling you what they was doing, surrender some of it to them because they've been helping you, take care of some of y'all worries and problems. But most of all, <laughs> they expected you to just be like, oh, this King of Cups all smiling, looking over at the mistress. Like, oh, okay, thanks for having sex with my man. You know what I'm saying? Like, thanks for giving us a baby. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. Y'all, why is this Queen of Wands here? This shit pissing me off. Yeah, but they were saying, like, it's going to be temporary, like, till she get on her feet. That's crazy, y'all. Uh-huh. Thought I was tripping. Yes, I'm telling you, this Queen of Wands is pregnant, and they really thought they wanted this to be a polyamorous relationship. I should have kept that. I should have kept that in a reading. Okay, I should have kept that in a reading because that's what it was about. This was about this person wanting a polyamorous, and I feel like even if they told you it was gonna be temporary, if they got too comfortable with having two women around, they sexy, you know, mistress woman, like they fantasy woman, as well as they. You know, good home cooked food, loving, nurturing woman. They that's a dream set up for this person. They really wanted that cake and eat it too. Now they singing the blues. All right, y'all. Have a good weekend. Peace.